butterflies. Teresa here. I am out on my meditation walk. And I just want to talk about dealing with distractions while pursuing your God purpose and destiny in life. Hopefully the wind is not messing up my microphone. I'm talking about this because the energy right now, there's a full moon, I think, tomorrow. And there's a lot of emotions coming up and situations coming up. And I know I'm not the only one feeling this as the shiftings are happening on our beautiful planet with all the wonderful humans (laughs) that we are being rebirthed into the new kingdom god earth that's what's happening right now so as this happens and you rise up to your call to your god ordained destiny there will be distractions along the way and some people call it test or god's testing you or the universe is testing you i don't i don't know if that's what it is or it's just because we're in this realm and we're fighting dark dark energies uh what you know it's it is what it is but we're fighting our own um egotistical self as well as we elevate and um birth into what god has really called us to be which is supernatural human beings so vibrating on the highest frequency of love light and jesus christ consciousness (laughs) because Jesus Christ is living in all of us. So, or when you invite Jesus in, for real, not just like as a conceptual thing. Um, But I have been really, really having fiery tests in this the last several days of constant distractions from triggerings to people manifesting, to my phone, to my work to things that shouldn't be popping up again, but they are. So I just want to say when you see these things happening in your life, it's more than likely a sign. It's not a sign that you're doing something wrong, but it's a sign that you're probably doing something right. And you need to discipline yourself and keep holding on to who you are and your identity as a beautiful, loving human being that is created in the image of our divine creator and put on this planet to spread love and light and heal, be, you know, God's channel of living love, which isn't always easy, but it's a choice, you know. So, and it goes through this dying process to what we think should be or how it should be. But I feel like this is happening universally right now. There's a lot of distractions. We, and we are all creating our own life. We are creating our destiny. So as we make choices, um, it's directing to where we're actually going and what we believe subconsciously about ourselves and what we allow into our life. So there's this really awesome thing called boundaries. And sometimes when you grow up in codependency and abuse and trauma, boundaries are difficult. And you, a lot of times when you're going through your healing and even after you are already healed, people are still going to, and situations are still going to test these boundaries. So you have to have very strong boundaries, not in like, I hate you, you're pushing my boundaries. But when you have strong boundaries, you, you're you safe. And so people can come and buffer or, you know, like work situations or whatever, <clears throat> deadlines, you know, things like that. But these things, it, they'll come and buffer on you. But when these boundaries are set, the boundaries are keeping you safe and boundaries are a form of self love. And as you love and value yourself, when someone is blatantly disrespecting you over and over and over again, 
even if they don't realize they're doing it and you're not setting a boundary and you're very mad at that person, the truth is you're really mad at yourself because <laughs> you're like, why am I disrespecting myself? So just begin to reprogram your mind through visualization, through affirmations. I am strong. I am safe. I am confident. I am I like to use scripture verses more than a conqueror. I greater is he that is in me that he that who lives in this world, which would be like, you know, this satanic crap or whatever is going on. Um, but even our own ego mind. <laughs> um, and then you step into it. You quantum leap into this identity. You'll still feel, ooh, you know, these, <laughs> like it's hitting you. Oh, oh, I'm triggered. Oh, I'm going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on that jerk. That, that person did that to me. La, 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 la. I don't have enough money to pay my rent. And I'm always in lot or whatever. These, these lies that we got running subconscious affirmations, lies that we got running in our head. You just change it. And as you begin to literally step into that daily, you, things will change. I've seen things change. In, in a few minutes, they're changing. So um, I hope this helps as people, like what, whatever your goals are, if you're trying to lose 30 pounds by Christmas and you're getting distracted by Dunkin' Donuts down the road or Taco Bell or whatever, you know, you have a food addiction, um, it's just a distraction. It's just a distraction. Remember what it is. Resist it. That it will, you will be, the more you resist it, the more you um, build confidence in yourself because everything is really who we see ourselves um, as, and you just say, I, I am, um, I eat healthy, whole living foods. I am confident that I never overeat. I have a healthy metabolism. My body is functioning in perfect order. Every cell in my body is rejuvenated daily and it's vibrating on God's highest level of love. It's beautiful and, and amazing. So that's just some affirmations you can say. But as you begin to do this and then you physically begin to walk these things out, these distractions will begin to dissipate and every day is changing um, and we're creating every day. So I hope this helps. Um, and I just want to say, especially ladies, but men too, if there's men watching my channel, please, if someone is consistently disrespecting you, disrespecting your time, disrespecting, making negs, which means these comments that are actually insults and then la oh, I'm just joking and you can just feel like honestly you can feel people's energy when, when you don't feel good around them that they're, they're probably thinking negative things about you and that's nothing to do with you that's their own self-concept so they want to or maybe just some people you don't vibe with so um get away from them just just get away <laughs> just send them love and light get away so i hope this helps sending you all much love and light please like and subscribe and hit the bell notification below for more videos tips and tricks on all things health and mental health and manifestation and blessings shalom